Hello guys, welcome to Jira Administration Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about um, the default issue assignee or default assignee in the Jira project when you are creating the issue. So uh, you, you would have noticed like when you are creating the issues in Jira, uh, it asks for the assignee. So if I click on the create button here and you select the issue type, so for example, you are creating a bug, for example, or a story, or whatever issue type you're creating. Um, it will, uh, the reporter will by default be you, and in the assignee uh, section, if you go, so it's most of the time it's you know like the automatic assignee, right? Now, if it is automatic, then whom will this issue be assigned? Let's try and see that what happens so you can choose uh, usually you choose the person from the list as well you can you know like either keep it as unassigned or you can choose the person from the list from the suggestions or you can just keep it automatic and depending on what setting has been done uh, for the automatic assignment in the background it will be uh, assigned automatically so uh, let's see if we just keep it as automatic and then create an issue then let's see what happens or whom this issue gets assigned All right. so that's the issue that got created if I click on the issue and here you can see the assigning is unassigned so that means whenever you are creating an issue and it has an automatic assignment that means uh, behind the scene that automatic assignment is basically saying that it will re it remain as unassigned however as a project administrator or as an as a Jira administrator you can change the this default assignee to be someone so for example a project lead or component lead uh, you can choose who needs to be assigning in case a person doesn't choose any uh, assigning for a particular issue type so if we go to the project settings now in the project settings um, in the summary uh, page or in the uh, users and role page if you see right so here the project lead is jqn and the default assignee is unassigned and that's the reason in this particular project or in any project if this default assignee is unassigned that means when you are creating an issue in jira it uh, the assignee for that particular issue will be unassigned now you can change it if you edit the defaults and click on the default assignee drop down and select project lead and update so whosoever will be the project lead for this particular project will be by default assigned the issues in this particular project so if you update it and now you can see the default assignee is project lead if you go to the summary as well you can see the same information in the um, role section right so you can see project lead is jqn and the default assignee is now project lead who is jqn now if you try to create the issue again and see who gets assigned just if it too and again leave the sign is automatic and click on create now once the issue will get created let's see whom it gets assigned to now here you can see the test effect 2 got created and the assignee is jk right so by default so previously there was uh, no assignee because uh, by default the issue created it uh, used to go to the unassigned but as as we have changed the settings in this project that the project whosoever is the project uh, admin will be sort of uh, our project lead will be assigned the issue that are created in this particular project now uh, similar uh, thing we can do in the component as well so components are nothing but uh, sort of subsections within the project so for example you can organize your 
uh, issues like uh, the UI issues. So UI can be a component or the backend. Uh, the database issues uh, can be organized as a database uh, component. So you can define multiple components in the project. So to categorize uh, sort of issues that fall into that particular component category or subcategory, right? So uh, if you see in this particular project, you can uh, see that you can create a database component, user interface component, and uh, there could be you know, like middleware component as well. So depending what your project is, what sort of technology you are using, you can define components in the particular project. And to define the component, if you go to the component section of the project, you can click on add component. Now, uh, if, uh, if you click on add component, you can provide the name of the component. So I'll just say database. And then in the lead, you can provide the lead as well. So I can se select any person as a lead. So in, in a team, so for example, you have a database team and there is a person who is leading the team you just provide the name of that particular person you can provide the description and the default assignee as well now why i am covering component in this um, tutorial is because i want to show you the default assignee um, for uh, the component so you can see the component lead you can choose component lead as the default assignee for the project as well or for for the issues as well so in case you choose component lead as the default assignee so anyone who creates an issue and chooses a component as database Alex will be the default assignee or the issue will get assigned to Alex right and if there is no component chosen then in those sort of cases the default assignee is the project lead who is JQN so issue will get assigned to JQN and this is pretty um, effective way to organize all your issues and just to ensure that by default if uh, there is no assignee selected by the people in, in your team it gets assigned to someone and can be actioned uh, promptly so it's a sort of good practice so let's see and create an issue with a component database and see that it gets assigned to um, Alex uh, so here I'll just select from the drop down just one component is there so I'll select database and click on I'll leave the sign is automatic and click on create now because I have selected the uh, component as this database you can see the default assignee is Alex right so that's uh, pretty much all about how you can change the default signee for the project as well as how you can add a component add a component lead as the default signee for the issues in your project this is pretty good practice to organize issues in your project and to ensure that if anyone is creating issues in in the in the particular project it gets assigned to someone by default in case that person doesn't choose the default assignee or doesn't choose the assignee for the issues that he's creating thank you very much for watching please do share and subscribe